So Metro Exodus came out a couple weeks ago, and it's an awesome game. I'm having a lot of fun with it. However, it can be pretty brutal, especially if you haven't played Metro 2033 or Metro Last Light. And even if you have, <laughs> it's pretty tough. In this Metro Exodus tips and tricks video, I'm going to share with you a bunch of tips that are going to help make this game quite a bit easier and hopefully allow you to have a lot more fun playing through it. Hey guys, it's Chris with BNB Gaming. Welcome back and I hope you're doing amazing today. Thank you for taking the time to check out this video and thank you for your likes, your shares. Definitely appreciate it. Now before we get rolling here, I think it's important to note what Metro Exodus is. And Metro Exodus is a survival game. It means that health and ammo is going to be limited. So you just can't sit in a corner and regenerate your health. You only have so many med kits, so it makes it challenging. Now the real tension here is that Metro Exodus actually rewards you for exploring. It rewards you for doing side missions and doing all the missions on the map because you can find weapon caches. You can find different NPCs that are going to help you either on the train or just in that mission itself. You can find unique armor mods and also different pieces of equipment. Metro Exodus tip number one, use the quick save. In the pause menu, you can quick save anytime you want to. This is very important in this game. And I know for me at first I was like, eh, I really don't want to do this because, you know, to me it feels kind of like cheating. But the thing is, this is built into the game for a reason. In Metro Exodus, you're going to run into a lot of situations where you're not meant to survive. It's supposed to be kind of a, a shock to the system or something. You're supposed to die and then come back and figure it out. Well, the quick save will save you a lot of time. In addition, this will allow you to explore and try different routes and you know run into different enemies and different wildlife, etc., Along with the quick save option, you can also use the load previous checkpoint option. Now I've used this several times where I've just kind of gone off in one direction and found out there's like a, a pack of monsters, you know, devouring me or whatever, and it's just using up all my ammo. Tip number two, avoid unnecessary wildlife combat. In Metro Exodus, there's monsters everywhere. There are airborne monsters, ground-based monsters, water-based monsters they're everywhere and the thing is you don't get anything for killing them you're not getting hides or anything so it's really a waste of ammo unless you really need to go through an area now as far as water goes you know in the first area they give you these rowboats and you're like ah this is great and all of a sudden you're getting killed by all these monsters climbing on your boat and shooting their goo at you and everything else one thing I found here is you can actually shoot them on shore and, you know, they're not going to swim out and get you. And if, if you don't leave that area, they won't respawn while you're in that area. Now, if you're going to shoot them, make sure you're on the shore because if you don't get a perfect headshot on them, they're going to swim over to you on the boat and kill you. Metro Exodus tip number three, carry a silenced ranged weapon. And I recommend the revolver. Now here you want to have a weapon that has really good accuracy and really good damage because you don't want to miss your shot. One thing that's different about Metro Exodus versus the previous games is this game is very pinpoint accurate as far as your headshot goes. So if they're wearing a helmet, you got to hit them in the face instead of the ear hole or whatever. What happens is you'll hit them in the head, it doesn't kill them and it alerts everybody and then you got a problem. Now having a silenced range weapon not only will allow you to take out human enemies but also the monsters as well because a lot of them do travel in packs. You want to take out the pack leader and this will allow you to move through that area. Tip number four, carry the shotgun. The shotgun in Metro Exodus will allow you to kill armored and unarmored creatures and, and people in one to two shots. And with the stock and all the different attachments will allow you to kill creatures and people at medium range. And a bonus tip here is make sure you have plenty of ammo for this weapon. Because when enemies rush you in the game, they're going to rush you hard. And the shotgun basically, I would say, is like an eraser. Right? I mean, you do everything wrong and you're stuck in a corner <laughs> and they're just swarming in on you. The shotgun makes them all go away. 
Tip number five, make sure you're looting human corpses for ammo and parts. Now this is pretty obvious, but it's something you definitely want to make sure you're doing as you're going forward. Because as you go forward through the game, you're going to run into more and more attachments for your weapons. And of course, ammo is always important. Metro Exodus tip number six, exploration. In Metro Exodus, you're going to have a lot of times, you're going to have a lot of times where the game wants you to go right for an objective, for example, and you could go left. Take the time to go left and explore that location. You're going to find a lot of different crafting materials, bullets, etc. as you do this. Also, you want to make sure to do all the side missions because you can find armor upgrades, weapon upgrades, and you're also going to find some NPCs that if you help them, they'll help you. Tip number seven, be merciful. In Metro Exodus, you'll have the choice of either executing or sparing surrendered enemies. You know, as you kill enough of them, all of a sudden they'll start giving up. Make sure you spare them because it's going to pay off down the road. Now, in addition, as you're exploring, you will run into different NPCs you can help. Make sure you do that as well because they can give you different keys and, you know, open up different caches for you that will make a big difference. And finally, tip number eight, only craft what you need. So, for example, you don't want to fill up your inventory all the way full because as you're going through combat, you're going to pick up ammo, you're going to pick up med kits, filters, etc. And having your inventory full, you're going to end up just wasting materials. You're better off keeping your stores at maybe two-thirds of their maximum. So if you can carry five med kits, have three med kits on you, etc., that way you're preserving your crafting materials for when you really need them. For more tips and tricks videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Until next time, guys, this is Chris. Have an awesome one. Drop it hot.